When reflecting on what's important to me, I immediately think of rock painting. Why? Because I do it as a community event. In my community of Sanger, we take time out of our day, paint rocks and hide them so kids later in the day can go out with their families and enjoy looking for rocks and posting them on Facebook. Here are some examples of past rocks that I have painted and later go on and hide in the day so others around the community can go out and look for them and enjoy as a family. So my first step is to find a relaxing place where I could paint my rocks, either a local park or go to the river by Pine Flat Lake. Either works as long as I have space to do my painting. My second step is to grab an ice cold drink to keep me cool in this hot summer weather. Third is to find a rock that I want to paint on. I found this rock in my front yard, which is perfectly round and flat. Next, I gather all the materials that I'm going to use. For example, acrylic paint, some paint markers, then at the end, I'll use some clear coat and also the type of paint brushes that I'm going to use and also paper plate so the paint doesn't get on the table. Also, a podcast so I can concentrate on my painting and won't get bored. The first step to paint your rock is to coat it with white acrylic paint. That way you have a nice clean surface to draw or paint on. The next step is either to free draw on the rock or in this instance, I drew on wax paper. That way I'm able to transfer the image onto the rock. This is the outcome after tracing the image onto the white rock. The next step is to color it in. I use navy blue, fire red, and arctic white. The next step is to add a clear clear coat. That way none of the paint chips and it stays on the rock permanently. After all the steps, this is the outcome. Do I have the bulldog spirit? You tell me. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is posting it on the Sanger Rocks Facebook page and patiently wait for someone to find my rock and post it on the comments. 